New tonight, the Las Vegas real estate market is red hot. Prices are going up and the number of houses on the market is coming down. So what does this mean for buyers, sellers and renters? Action News reporter Elizabeth Gadley is breaking it down for you and showing you some of the hottest areas around the valley. Expect to see fewer of these around town this summer and expect them to be taken down a whole lot faster. That's because according to Zillow, fewer homes are for sale in the Las Vegas area, especially first and second buyer homes in the mid $200,000 range. June is, is going to be incredibly hot. We're expecting to sell about 3,500 homes in Las Vegas. For buyers, you'll want to be pre-approved first and expect to look at 10 to 15 homes and make three to five offers. You're easily going to have to offer 95% of list price if the home is in good condition to upwards of 105% of list price, and that's not uncommon. Sellers, you're in luck. Experts say this is a great time to sell, especially if you have a medium priced home. You can expect to get multiple offers and more money. When you get a multiple offer situation, you're going to come up a minimum of $10,000, but really based on the sales price, I would say the good rule of thumb is 2 to 5%. This house is right in that median price range in one of the hottest zip codes, and in the first two weeks, it got seven offers, and it's expected to close right around the asking price. That's pretty common for what buyers are going to see when they're looking in this price range. They're going to see a lot of activity, a lot of competition, and they're going to need to come in strong. You can see on this map the three most competitive areas around the valley are all in the northwest and include homes in Silverstone Ranch, Centennial Hills, Los Prados Golf Course, and Summerlin communities. The two least competitive zip codes are in the central and southwest part of the valley. Home prices are up, but in Bachelor's opinion, this isn't impacting renters. She says rent has stayed pretty much the same over the last five years. Reporting near Decatur and Farm, I'm Elizabeth Gadley, 13 Action News.